Playing with Death is a crime thriller novel. It, it, uh, the main character is Special Agent Rose Blake of the FBI, and she's investigating at the start of, of the novel um, a serial killer who the police are, and the FBI are trying to track down. And she's involved with a sting operation that goes horribly wrong and haunts her for the, for the months and, uh, that follow on from this. She also thinks that the serial killer that she's after, uh, Koenig, um, has gone to ground until suddenly there are some new killings that sort of take place in, the, uh, in California, where the book is set. And these killings seem to point to the fact that Koenig is back in action and, 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 get, and continuing to uh, his serial killing career. You should read this book because, unlike a lot of crime thrillers out there, um, this manages to satisfy not only on a crime thriller level, but it also poses a number of significant, lingering and difficult to answer questions that is, every, is on everybody's lips but isn't really being talked about. So if you want a story that entertains, provokes thought and possibly shows you degrees into the future, which may or may not be a world you want to live in, then uh, I highly recommend you read this book. What makes um, playing with death interesting for me as a, as a subject matter is that a lot of crime thriller uh, books in the crime thriller genre tend to focus on serial killers and, and crimes and tracking them down through fairly traditional kind of methods. One of the um, things obviously that we can't escape from these days is the effect of the internet and the way that the internet impinges upon almost every aspect of our life these days. So what I thought would be quite interesting is if, if we take kind of the traditional uh, uh, crime thriller novel format and then bring it bang up to date with social media. And so what you have is a kind of Thomas Harris for the social media generation.